Hello and welcome to the UCraft video series. As you know, UCraft offers various colorful templates to create amazing websites for you. Every template has its peculiar structure and a unique set of elements or blocks and pages used. But you're the one to set the rules of the game here. So you can not only customize the existing pages, but also create new ones. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a page from scratch, define the layout, adding new elements, blocks, and more. I'm going to explain how easy it is to build an identical page created by UCraft's team in minutes, even without any coding or designer skills. So let's get started, shall we? To add a new page, let's move to the Pages app on your dashboard and click Plus, hovering over the existing pages. To start from scratch, I'll choose a blank page. UCraft website pages have a common set layout with a header, body, and a footer, and a wide range of site elements to help you build a site that will fit your needs perfectly. As you know, UCraft is based on drag and drop features, which means you can simply choose the desired element or block from the appropriate section and drop it wherever you want. All you need to do is hover over the crafting area waiting for the gray line to appear to guide you through. As you see, the elements can be set both in full width or grid width. I'd suggest starting from the header and footer that play significant roles in the visual impact your website leaves on your site's visitors. The wisely chosen and arranged blocks are not only eye-capturing, but are also pretty functional. On the page we're going to create today, we only have one element in the header, the logo. So I'll simply add a logo element. You can either create a new one using the UCraft logo maker or upload your own logo. As I already have a pre-designed logo, I'll hit upload. Please note that you can place any other important elements like a title or your site navigation pages in your header. Let's move on to the footer. As you can see, there's a form element along with a map here, which gives you a chance to be in touch with your visitors or show your location. Let's use UCraft's beloved feature and drag and drop a form element from the left panel. We can add a title and edit it as well. The next step is adding a map and using the controllers to adjust the space between the elements. Please consider that every single element has its own configurations where you can modify the style and adjust the general settings. You can get more insight on how to use the elements on UCraft's help desk or in our next video tutorials. Alternatively, you can add a pre-designed footer from the Blocks section where you're offered different functional layouts of certain blocks including such elements like Follow Us icons, subscription elements, etc. I almost forgot to tell you that the headers and footers are fixed to all your pages. So in the case of full websites, they will be visible on all the pages respectively. What about bringing some media in? This layout is pretty simple but still great to use. Let me show you step-by-step step how it's done. Just drop a title element and add a background image to the block from the block settings. Upload a preferable one. Make it a background cover and change the opacity level. Please mind the quality of the image. Now align the title to the center and make changes to make it more visually appealing. That's it! 
Text content is the next important component. So make sure to use informative, quality content for your visitors. We can achieve that in seconds, adding title and paragraph and adjusting the space using the controllers. To create the next block, add two images again, dropping them next to each other on the crafting area. Add titles respectively. Here's an awesome feature that can make your job even easier. Once you've created a block you like, you can save it to use it later on. To do so, just go to the desired block settings and click the Save block. Afterwards, you can find it on the block section. Now, simply upload the images and edit the texts. To have the opacity effect, use the color tool. Change the opacity and drop it on the images. To make the text stand out, let's make them white using the same tool. Now we're just a step away from having built a gorgeous full page for your website. As I've said, you can add certain blocks from different block categories. So let's finalize the page creation by adding a pre-designed block. That's all. I've just created a look-alike page from one of UCraft's templates in minutes as promised. But you can be creative, use the various elements, and bring your own vision to reality. Hope you found the creative process easy and engaging. Make sure to check out the rest of our videos to have a bigger view of UCraft and the opportunities available.